Many economists estimate that the tax deal could boost U.S. GDP by a full percentage point next year, perhaps pushing it up to above 4 percent. But Moody's is warning that the damage it will do to the deficit outweighs any short-term positive impact, which could even threaten the U.S.'s AAA bond rating. Joining us now to discuss is Steve Forbes, Chairman, Editor-in-Chief of Forbes Media. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Uh, this compromise that the President talks about is particularly in reference to the estate tax. What do you think the compromise should be? Well, I think the compromise was as good as you were going to get under the circumstances. A massive tax increase was going to come on January 1st. It was very important to stop that from happening, or the U.S. economy would have taken a real hit. The fact that the Republicans got a reduction in the death tax from 55 percent to 35 percent, I think, uh, made the deal even better. And I'm a little surprised that some Republicans are uh, squawking about it. The spending part's already been baked in to get the tax cuts in there, at least not big tax increases, is good for the economy. Not a lot of Republicans are scocking at it. 83 to 15, it was a victory. Some are saying for Obama and his Republican allies. Did you ever expect <laughs> to hear that? And it wouldn't have happened before the elections. That's On the right. House side, uh, there, there, there's a lot of upset about the spending side of this bill. But uh, overall, it is good for the economy. And not only that, it's the tax cuts, it's the South Korean trade deal, it's the summit meeting with CEOs and the president coming up tomorrow. Health care might be taking it on the chin. I mean, two years later, is the White House more business friendly? Do CEOs no longer feel like they're getting a beating? Well, I don't think the president's attitude towards the business has changed, but I think his attitude after the election and his upcoming re-elect in 2012 or possible re-elect in 2012 has focused the mind wonderfully. Uh, when you face the prospect of losing office, you start to say, how do I keep this office? And is this the way to keep office? It is the way to keep office, but I think the real battles are now going to come on tax reform, simplifying the tax code. There is growing bipartisan support in the U.S. for that. And in terms of uh, health care, that's where the real big battles are coming. You got the first taste of it with that uh, judge in Virginia, uh, district court judge, federal judge, ruling uh, on, that this thing is unconstitutional, the provision that individuals have to buy health insurance. And I think uh, you're going to see real battles in the House and Senate over other provisions of the health care bill on regulations like this so-called 1099 provision which would force every business in a couple of years to file a tax form with the Internal Revenue Service for every transaction they do above $600. For small business, that's a real killer. 